Zero. You got this. I hope so. This interview, I've been trying to get this interview for months. Well, my mom, she's coming up here and she's coming to talk to the PTA. And she also has your recommendation letter. She should be here by now. Thank you. Her recommendation will definitely get me in. Live Nation, here I come! You're excited now, but just wait till you get in. That workload is no joke. I can handle it. This internship is exactly what I need to get into NYU. Girl, you got this. <laughs> what was that? Come on, I know you have the answers. It's your fault, get in there. Sissy, leave her alone. You wanna be next? Keep moving, loser. Come on, give them to me. I know you have Sissy, get off of her! <laughs> what did you do? What is going on? She fell. I'm gonna just try to help her. her. Mia! Somebody say something. What happened? She fell. Is that true? Keisha? Lucy? Yes, yes, sir. She fell. I'm calling an ambulance. Y'all better not be lying. Lucy, is everything... <gasps> Mia! Mia! What happened? Mia! Oh my God! Mia, what happened? She fell. Keisha! Lucy, uh, what happened? She fell. How? She just texted me and everything was just fine. What happened? She fell, like she said. I wasn't talking to you, little girl. And I've seen you around school, bullying people. If you laid one hand on my Mia, your parents will be in court. I didn't do anything. Look, Janet, I understand you're upset. I've already called an ambulance. Let's not place blame here. I think this may be an unfortunate accident. I don't believe in accidents. A fall wouldn't have had her like this. Lucy, Mia's your friend. What happened? She fell. When Mia recovers from this, you stay away from her. Oh, and find somebody else to get you this letter of recommendation. I refuse to represent a liar. Miss Braxton, I need that letter. The nerve of you. Look. Lucy, I don't know what you're hiding, and I don't know why you won't speak up for your friend. I'm gonna have to have a conversation with your parents. Sir, please. I want you both in detention. Now. And then I want you both in my office after detention. I understand this was difficult, and I appreciate your honesty. Lucy, please, have a seat. After Mia went to the hospital, I had a chance to review the cameras in the hallway. Can the I? time to speak up was when I asked you what had happened. You watched Sierra harm Mia. You did nothing about it. And worst of all, you lied to me and her mother. I told him everything. How could you lie to her mother when you saw Cece push her? I was scared. You have to understand I was scared. It's okay to be scared. It's not okay to lie. I'm placing you on a superintendent suspension, effective immediately. I've already called your mother and let her know. What? I didn't do anything. This is going to ruin my chances at NYU. You're right. You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything when I asked you what had happened. You lied about something serious. And a student went to the hospital. 
Sir, I was scared. Cece said she was going to harm me too if I said anything. You have to understand. My decision is final. Please empty out your locker and go home. No matter what uncomfortable reality you face, always tell the truth. Lucy didn't make it into NYU, which led to her depression. Mia fell into a coma after a traumatic brain injury, and Cece went to juvenile detention for attacking Mia. But here's what could have happened had Lucy made the right choices. Are you okay? Why don't you just mind your business and go back to class? Keisha, there's no need to be rude. I'm not being rude. I got my first B in science today, and it's all her fault. And all my dad could say was, my teacher felt bad for me, and I'm an idiot. Oh, wow, Cece. I'm sorry. No one should be treated like that. I've been helping Cece with her homework and her attitude towards others. Yeah, and I really appreciate it. I'm just getting tired of taking my anger out on everyone around me for things that are going around at home. It doesn't feel right. That's a great step forward, Cece. I wish you the best. Yeah, I hope you stick to it. You're too smart and beautiful. You shouldn't be so angry all the time. Thanks so much, you guys. I'm sorry if I caused you any harm. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Come on, let's get this last <laughs> class over, you guys. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> all right. Mom! Hey! Hey, <laughs> hey Miss Baxton. Hi! Mia, go ahead and go to class and I'll see you later, okay? Here you go. This is for you. You've earned it. Thank you, Miss Baxton. Oh, you're welcome. You have no idea how much this means to me. <sighs> Listen, you make me proud at Live Nation. And I have a client who knows someone at NYU Admissions, so I'm gonna put in a good word for you. Really? Yeah. I'm so grateful. Thank you. You're really making my dreams come true. No, you're making your dreams come true. I'm just glad I'm here to help. Thank you, Miss Baxton. You're the best. You're welcome, Lucy. All right, so you need to go ahead and get to class. You're not gonna miss class because of me. <laughs> okay, thank you again. Anytime. <laughs> the moral of the story is, hiding behind your lies is a cowardly act. No matter how painful the truth is, Always be honest. Rumi once said, it is best to raise your words and not your voice. It is rain that grows flowers, not thunder. Your voice should sow seeds, not break them. <laughs>